Hey everybody, um, so it has been a while since I made a video last um, and a lot has happened more so internally with me, with myself and I don't even know where to start. Um, right now, like, the big things in my life, aside from, like, family, of course, would be school, weight loss, and, and singing. The reason why there's a little bit of a hesitation with singing is, um, for those of you who have been following my videos, you know that singing has been a passion of mine for pretty much my whole life and it's always been um, a career I wanted to get into to be a performer, to be a singer, to be a recording artist, all that stuff just lately um, just I don't I have been questioning so many things about myself like what I really want um, what is important to me, um, just, I realized that I don't appreciate things that I have enough, things that I should be appreciating, um, and that includes myself. Um, so, a lot of, all the things that I want and those are like pretty much like education and the singing career and my weight loss, they all require so much out of me, like both physically and mentally. And so it's really hard to do all of them at once without going crazy. <laughs> so speaking of crazy, I feel like I've been going insane lately and this past week I was probably in like the darkest place I've ever been and not literally but like just emotionally mentally like physically I've just been in like the darkest part of my life and just the depression really was like it really felt like depression and that's probably one of the major things I want to talk to, want to talk to you guys about today and why I wanted to make this video. Um, so this past week, um, my diet, well, not really a diet, but my eating habits were just at its worst. And what was frustrating was I have been losing weight or I have been on this weight loss program um, for over two years now. And so I was frustrated because I don't know why this was all of a sudden happening. I mean, it's been over two years. You would think that it would be easy for me to just eat healthfully and it would be like pretty much second nature to me. But this past week, I have been binging almost every single day um, this past two days I have been good um, but I'll get to that in a second um, or in a minute um, so yeah this past week I have been binging almost every day except for maybe two or yeah about like two days in between just or two days somewhere in there I was good but for the most part I was binging almost every day and when I say binge I'm not talking about a hamburger or two slices of pizza I am talking about at least 2,000 calories within an hour at least actually probably at least 3,000 even um, and it was just so bad. I mean, at the moment that I'm eating all that food, it just, it feels so good. It's just like, I don't even want to stop. 
like when I was eating, I ate whatever I wanted to eat, no restrictions. Um, even when I wasn't hungry anymore, I kept eating until it hurt. And I felt like each day that I was binging, I just kept digging the hole deeper and deeper. And it was harder, it was just getting harder and harder to get out of it. But yeah, and because like every day, like waking up the next morning after a bench, it's like I felt so hopeless. I felt like, what's the point of going back to the dieting when I'm just gonna go back to binging? Or when I've already gained so much weight after that binge. And that's what I was feeling for like a whole week. It was just, it affected everything, not just you know, my weight loss, but the way I was treating my family, the way, the way I was treating myself, like, I was behind on homework, like, I didn't do any homework, um, just being out, it's just, I hated everything, I hated the world, I hated myself, I didn't want to live, knowing that I had put so much work into my weight loss, and I felt like in that one week, I had already gained, like, 20 or 30 pounds or something like that okay maybe that's exaggeration but I don't know maybe not um and just yeah like the it was the worst those were the past few binges have been the worst and what was also frustrating was I mean as you guys know again if you've been following my videos I've had my binge days before but I quickly got back on track, and then I lost weight again. But this time, it's like, it was different. It's One time I went to a food court, and before the binge week, you can put me in a food court, and I wouldn't question what I had to eat. I'm not going to go to any of the, like, the bad food. I would go straight to, like, the salad bar or something. You know, like, I wouldn't even have to stop and think about that. But um, one time last week when I went to the food court, I wanted to get fast food Chinese food. And I had to actually like get myself away from the food court and sit on a table because I was I, it was like lunchtime. So I had to um, buy my food and I didn't make my meals for that day. So I had to sit myself down and actually think long and hard and tell myself, Iris, like, do not get the bad food. You know you're going to regret it. I ended up getting a salad. But the good eating um, didn't last that day. I ended up binging as soon as I got home. And... Even to this day, even though I've been good the last two days, I'm still like thinking about food. Like I, I keep thinking about I could easily have any food I want right now. Like it's so easy. I could get it just any time I want. No one can stop me. Like I still have, I'm still trying so hard and that's what I don't get. I don't know why this is happening to me now. I do have one one idea and I hope it is so that you know at least if I know what the problem is I could fix it so I hope that this is what it is and what I think um, made me um, have that binging week was because um, in my last few videos I've talked about the change in my diet where I completely took out carbs, and when I say carbs, I'm talking about rice, pasta, bread, um, anything breaded or has flour in it. So I, and like, it's so hard to find food that doesn't have any of those that'll fill you up. And I'm guessing it's because I restricted myself from all that stuff that I have pretty much been eating my whole life, and then just when I when I had like pizza on the first day of my binge I just I missed it and I craved it and I wanted more of it so now the past two days what I've told myself is 
okay, you know what? If I have to eat carbs, even just a little bit, I'll do it. If I have to lose weight at a slower pace, whatever, I'll do that too. I just don't ever, ever want to go back to what my life was like last week. It was just, oh my gosh, like, like I wanted to die. And I had been watching videos of people who have bulimia and anorexia and then because I was just I'm like what the heck is going on with me so I was trying to kind of look at people who had similar problems and the one that I was the most relatable to were the bulimics and just I was watching documentaries and the way they thought their perspectives on life their the way they acted towards their families the way they spoke just everything it was it like it was like watching myself in those do documentaries. The only difference was I didn't purge. Um, I can't I can't lie and say I never thought about it and that I never tried it, but I always ended up not doing it. And so I didn't want to get get to that point because. Like, I have a lot of things to worry about. So, I like, being bulimic, that's just... I, I don't want to add something... Like, I don't want to... I have no more strength to add another problem into my life. And so, even my parents, like, noticed that just my behavior has been changing. They feel like my weight loss has taken over everything of me, of myself. Like, the singing thing... As I was saying earlier, it's, I just I've been drifting away from it. Like I stopped caring so much for it the way I used to before, and a lot of it does have to do with school. It's not just the weight loss thing, but school is really tough. Um, like I'm all for education, but the mistake I made, which is why it's such. Uh, a stressful part for me right now is because I chose the wrong program it's not like I actually hate <laughs> my program um, not because like it's a bad like you know the things we learn is bad like I love what we're learning I just don't like the kind of work we have to do like the lots of reading lots of essay writing and just hate that so that's like another thing so um, as you can see hopefully everything that I'm trying to accomplish requires so much out of me and just this past week I feel like I've reached my peak I feel like I just wanted to burst out and take it out on food and just have all the food I wanted no restrictions um, nothing and no one telling me I can't do this I can't do that or I can't have this or I can't have that and again not gonna lie like on the way home today, um, I was thinking of binging, like not necessarily of wanting to binge, like I know that I shouldn't binge today, but just when I was binging and just how good it felt at the moment, eating all that food, but then I have to keep reminding myself how like absolutely depressed I was and how much I wanted to kill myself after every binge, especially the morning after. The morning after is just like, is probably the worst because you just feel like oh another day is about to start you're probably gonna make the same mistakes again it's like you just want the day to be over and yeah um another update though that I didn't I should have told you guys earlier um I have been doing P90 or um also called Power 90 and it's the um a fitness program before P90X so it's a bit simpler because I'm not like as fit <laughs> as um, I should be so I've been doing power 90 for 17 days now and I've been back on track with it um, and yeah I'm hoping I can keep up with it it's uh, also 90 days um, and I've been pretty good with it. Yeah, so I did it yesterday. So basically, um, 
what I do want to say is that now I'm just, I'm trying to think of weight loss in a different way. I want to do it for health benefits, to keep myself sane, to keep myself in a positive attitude, and no longer for the reasons of looking like this person or being this small or um, looking like so-and-so or whatever. I don't want to do it for this for the superficial reasons anymore and I'm not gonna lie I I did do it for the superficial reasons and I didn't think that it would be like that it would harm me like if I say I want to be a size zero then I will work for it and then I'll be a size zero not that I want to be a size zero it's just an exaggeration but um yeah, when you do it, I feel like when you do it for the wrong reasons, or at least for me personally, like when I do it for the wrong reasons, it it's not about, like it puts pressure on me that I can't enjoy life anymore, or I can't enjoy, yeah, like, I can't enjoy anything anymore. So I'm trying to do it without, like, a time limit. Like, I'm still going to try. I'm not going to say, like, I'm going to be on a diet forever or, like, the last 20 pounds I'll lose in, like, 10 years or whatever. But I'm just not going to restrict myself. The, the big idea here is I'm not going to restrict myself to any food anymore. I'm going to go back to just... Doing it the Weight Watchers way where I eat an X number of points, um, eating whatever food I want to eat. Um, so hopefully that's the, I, hopefully that's, that is the reason why I was binging like crazy last week. So that at least if it is, then I can just fix that problem and just move on, start all over with the weight loss, um, and just, yeah, be on track, like, take control, don't let food get the best of me, and I'm not gonna lie, right now, I so badly just want to eat, and I don't know, it's, it's so weird why I'm like this, I, f I think it's because I'm just, getting tired of so many things. I'm really sorry if I'm sounding really negative right now, but, um, and sorry for, this is a really long video, but I'm just like, I guess I'm just tired of like working so hard for everything and not getting the results that I'm expecting. But, I mean, that's life. I have to keep going. I have to appreciate what I have accomplished. Like, I have lost like, over 90 pounds. Well, did. I probably, like, uh, I don't even know. I haven't weighed myself since I've gotten back on track. I don't want to weigh myself yet. But, yeah, I, I just worry way too much about everything and... I really should stop I just want to try to like enjoy everything like you know if I'm gonna be at this weight for a while or if I'm gonna be losing weight at a really 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 slow rate uh, like then so be it I don't just as long as I don't I don't want to have these food urges anymore Cause it's so weird, like when I was binging, the moment I touch a piece of food or I, the moment I put it in my mouth, it's like, I think, okay, I've ruined the diet. I might as well go full out, just eat whatever I want. I want, I don't want to think like that anymore. I want to be able to say like, you know, if there's a time where I just happen to have a slice of pizza. I want to be able to just think, okay, you had a slice of pizza. That's more than what you usually would have. Don't have anymore. 
like yeah like you guys have no idea it was the binges were just oh my gosh it was not normal <laughs> like let me give you an example of one of the binges I had I had like four slices of pizza three ice cream bars chicken nuggets by the way this is all within like an hour um, a bowl of noodle soup, a piece of like Filipino pastry, and I'm pretty sure there's more, like, like lots of like, I was like picking at a lot of food. So like all that food, like the, the value of those food altogether in calories is probably how much I would consume within a span of like two days two or three days it's that bad and that's just one one of the binges imagine just imagine me doing that every single day for a week oh so bad it's just so weird like how food can just do this to you it's like you love it so much but you hate it you hate what it does to you but you just love it i don't know it's it's so weird like i, I thought like i was over this kind of relationship with food like I thought I was it was part of like it was second nature to me to just eat healthfully or eat in moderation I thought that it was something that I wouldn't ever have to think about anymore like I still think about it but with ease but I never thought I'd have to like try to mentally hold myself back like I am right now <laughs> no lie um so I don't know, I, I really want to hear from you guys who have have experienced or are experiencing the same thing where you've been losing weight for such a long time now and then all of a sudden you fall into this like part of your life where you just want to eat and you can't stop thinking about food and you have to try so hard it's like you're going back to your old ways so i'd like to hear some of your stories i would like any advice um i am going to see a shrink that's a little embarrassing to say but i've gotten so personal with you guys so i might as well but my parents set up an appointment for me to see a shrink this month trying to figure to try and figure myself out try to figure me out because um, I have been doing it for myself for too long and I feel like my head is going to burst. Um, so yeah. Um, wish me luck that I don't have a bad night tonight with food. And yeah, I hope you're all doing well. <laughs> despite all this and yeah i'll talk to you guys again soon bye